this demo we are looking at 8 bands that you can cover off with this. The Fuzz Factory from Zvex FX. Believe it or not, this diminutive 5 knob Swiss Army knife of fuzz is almost 30 years old and it's still just as relevant today. We'll get into the knobs and what they do as we go through the demo because they're fantastically interactive. So just describing each knob as, apart from volume really, um, they're all gonna have different uh, effects depending on where the others are set, which is really cool. But essentially we have a fuzz pedal with two new old stock germanium transistors inside. And as the name suggests, you really can manufacture your own tone. So let's check out some examples. So with these settings, that's what I used for newborn. My clean tone basically is Again, same settings I always have on my amp. Just right at the very edge of breaker. And then with these settings. And there's two tones that I use for Muse. This is one of the main ones. You can use this for loads of other stuff. Hyper Music's another good one. outro to micro cuts is cool as well. Another good one, same settings is Futurism, which goes, I'll play it clean. Goes like that, right? With this effect on though, it's too much. But if we roll back our volume, you're in the ballpark, right? So cleans up really nicely on the guitar's volume. And with these settings, and we'll go with humbuckers this time, um, I think Bliss and Plugin Baby are good examples. Let's do Plugin Baby first with these settings. Sounds a bit like this. And again, if we roll back the volume, we can do bliss. So with the volume up full. Roll it back to about four-ish, I think that is. Now, next up, we're going to do some John Frusciante stuff. Now, if I go into Neck Pickup, some of his lead stuff, I think he uses a, a DS2 into a Big Muff type fuzz, but I mean, this gets you into the ballpark. <laughs> into bridge position. And from there, if we just tweak the gate and the comp ever so slightly, nice rounded tone for rhythm stuff. And you know, let it inspire you from there. Now, another band that I really like this pedal for is Rival Sons, Mr. Fuzz Lord. has got a ton of fuzz pedals. I'm pretty sure he's got Either one of these, it might be a probe, not sure. But you can totally get some of those tones. Open My Eyes is a good example, I think. Goes a bit like this. And 
you'll see from the change in settings that we've got the stab involved there. If we tweak that again, I've backed off the drive a bit, but uh, increased the stab. <laughs> really getting into that kind of super fuzz territory where it feels like you know you get that velcro-y smashy sort of tone good example of that is i mean obviously it's all that that type of stuff right but a good example i think is um 24 Now, if we pull the stab all the way back to, so let's say, 9 o'clock, right? <laughs> You're starting to get more of the um, octaves coming out, right? About halfway. And then with it up full. getting into that sort of Stooges territory, aren't we? Now with these settings, we've got kind of a warm rounded sort of tone. Good for um, Nirvana stuff, I think. This also does some really wonderful gated type Velcro-y type fuzz things. So with these settings. <laughs> then you, you get some really cool unpredictable stuff happening. And again, if we tweak them ever so slightly, um, you get a much more pronounced kind of thing going on, which is great for Eagles of Death Metal. Wannabe in LA has a little solo in it. Go something like this. And then this. You know, and then find your own thing. very vocal isn't it so you can have lots of fun with that and um, with these settings as well another variation on the theme you know smash mouth isn't it and um, walking on the sun now some settings you're going to get some noise like this <laughs> this is cool and if you manipulate the knobs, you can make some cool effects. Matt Bellamy does this in the intro of Plugin Baby. <laughs> but a cool thing you can do with this, if you find the pitch, roughly there, right? And then bend into it. some really cool things happening so i hope you've enjoyed this one it's a classic pedal for many reasons it's still brilliant today and hopefully that's given you some inspiration of uh, you know where you might want to use some of these settings and i'm going to play you out with some chat white see you soon